Hello, so happy you could join me on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on today is a pre-stretch canvas 16 by 20. What I did was I used some painter's tape and went across. What I'm going to do is a pastel scene today with some, maybe some seagulls and uh, maybe an ocean scene with a beach, more of a white sand. So, any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me should have come across the screen right about here. I haven't done nothing to the canvas yet. I'm going to load up this 2 inch brush with some liquid white. And I'm going to come up with crisscross strokes. This liquid white is going to help with this technique that I'm about to do. It's called wet on wet. It helps the colors blend right in on the canvas. Coming right down, right down to the water line, where I think it might be. And that's exactly where it should be. It's your world. I'm coming in on an angle, I'm looking at it to where I can make sure that I got the whole canvas with a thin coat of liquid white. Something like that. Maybe, maybe down here, we'll put in some blue for some water and then we'll come up to the edge and kind of finish that off. So I'm going to get some phthalo blue on the same brush. Just like that. I'm going to come in and get some water maybe an ocean the ocean look like I said I'm just putting that in there like that for right now what I'm going to do is do the bottom portion of the canvas the same way it helps that the colors blend right in I started that over there which I could tell right away that I didn't use the liquid white. Went on kind of chalky. That's okay, we can just go right over it. We're going to paint over that anyway, so it'll probably give you a nice, nice look of the ocean. I'm getting down here and looking for the angles. Making sure I cover the, cover the whole bottom portion. Just like that. Okay, now we can come back in with that blue again. I'm going to tap in maybe right where we might think might be dark. Got some water. A bit more darker colors maybe right here. All I'm doing is tapping. Like I said, we want to create a pastel look. That's going to give it a different different hue to it altogether. Maybe over here we can do the same. A little lighter. Just giving that illusion of water. We're going to have a beach down here. 
so maybe a little bit darker. Darker here. Maybe darker right along the edge. Just like that. All the way up. With the pastel colors, it's not going to be, you're not going to have that real, that real look per se of the water. Okay, we got that going on. We'll come up to the brush we have going on here. I'm going to go back to the blue because I what I think I want to do is maybe add some blues up here. Just a touch. Just a touch of blue here, here. Just tapping it just like that. Maybe we can have some blue areas in here. Still tapping. Maybe here. I think what I'm going to do is maybe get some clouds going over here. A little bit darker. Then we'll come in just like that. Maybe over here too. Maybe maybe it'll be a little darker up here in that corner. that goes right down here. Right down to the water's edge. Add a little bit more color here. For the clouds. kinds of little things going on in there with the water. Just the hue to it. Now, what I'm going to do, take a little bit of green. Taking that two inch brush again and I'm going to get it in some yellow colors now. Tapping it just like that. Now we'll come in and we'll say our sky is our sun is coming right from in here. So we'll have this going on right down here. Maybe have some clouds and stuff happening right through here.
maybe something like that. And we'll come down in here. to some greens and blues get a blue green sky maybe come in here and do some maybe not as much circular motions Here and there, and there and here. Maybe have some of that over here too. Darker. The greens. Just like that. Take the blender brush. Just make it happen. Fluff up the clouds. Fluff them up. These can go right across. Just like that. Maybe, maybe we can make this a little bit darker down here. in with some more white right up to the edge we'll have that be our water line up there
what I want to do is leave it gapping in through here where the sun is coming through. Leave that edge. line going across. Now I'm going to take some blue take a little cut of, cut of paint off the edge there and come in and make some water lines here. All I'm doing is tapping this. Where I think the water might have some waves. Just like that. Here and there and there and here. Now, take the fan brush. Take some of the blue colors. We'll come in and we'll make some waves. Maybe a wave coming in here. another one in here maybe a bigger one right here The illusions, this will be covered up by a sand dune. I'm going to come in here and pull some of this out now. Kind of diffuse the wave, the waves back here. I want to kind of leave gaps in between them. Because it makes it look like there's levels, different levels of the the ocean, the waves coming in. Gives it the depth. Gives it the depth you're looking for. Maybe over here we can add some. I'm just tapping it with this fan brush. back in there, fan it out. All the way down. 
Here another. Here another happening in there. Okay, now what I want to do is take a smaller brush, go into some blues and greens. Get that maybe the eye of the wave or the wave coming in. A little brush just like that. Maybe there's a big coming in right here. Maybe it goes back. Something like that. I'm going to go into some browns, I think. Browns and yellows. lighter color. Come back in here. And we'll get this happening back in here. I want the highlight to be deeper. Coming through this area here. So I'm just kind of shading this. blend it in. Leaving spots in between give you that depth. And we're going to take that blender brush, knock off the excess, come in here and blend that out. I mean the uh, palette knife and come in here and put some white little roll of paint. We're going to tap in some highlight areas here. Right where we want the sun to be reflecting. By just tapping this going to give it that effect that it's rough out there. Maybe right down in front of this way. A little more. 
to come all the way down. this going in here. What I'm doing is tapping it. again get some more darker colors and we'll come in and make some waves crashing in. All the way. Just like that. Maybe we'll have a big one right down in here. some down here. Sometimes that helps you get that line you're looking for. That big edge. off. Come into some of that uh, other color we got going on. More the yellows and browns. Maybe there's something coming in right there.
another wave coming in. We'll get some of this color going right down here. I'm just using this little fan brush. I want to get some of this going right down right down here to the water's edge. But we got the waves coming in. We have all the stuff happening. Blend some of this out. You got the wave crashing in. Just like that. Pull some of this down. Need some more whites. Right up in here. Just like that. coming in here. Darker over here. Just like that. Let's fill it in. down here in front of this one. We have some white where it was breaking. here for the top of the wave maybe. Just like that. Top of the wave crashing in. Maybe right here.
don't have that big edge there. Just like that. Coming along, coming along, coming along. like that. Take the blender brush and just blend this out just a tad. Two hairs. <laughs> 